Um, I wanted to talk about uh, an instrument that you're well known for, and it's not just the, I guess it's the C flute, but it's the alto flute. Yeah. Now, yeah. Um, that it's a it's an instrument that's not real well widely known, right. um, and it's maybe especially in jazz. But how did you come to play the alto flute? Well, I, I, I bought my first alto flute back in, well, it's about 20 years now, um, and I always loved the sound of the lower flutes. When I was growing up, um, I, I did happen to listen to a lot of, like, Don Sebesky, you know, with the, the arrangements, um, even Mancini, you know, like the Pink Panther and things like that. Um, uh, Gil Evans, you know, wrote using the lower flutes, uh, you know, including the bass flute, and I loved, I just always loved that sound. It, it, it spoke to me. Um, so I knew that at some point I had to buy an alto flute, so I did. And um, it's, the, it's actually the same Sankyo flute that I, that I play today, that I bought then. Um, and I think when I really started playing it a, a lot was when I, I um, uh, collaborated with Joe Beck, the guitarist, and we started working together and what happened was we were on a tour and the first concert of that tour, it was in Florida, it's a number of years ago, was a duo concert. And when I pulled out my alto flute, he, he just, something clicked, you know, and it was just like, wow, this is what we need to do. So as it turned out, he had a tuning that he had thought of like 30 years earlier, or that's what he says. And um, it's something that he ended up um, building and, or having a luthier build and he calls it the alto guitar and so we then put together a duo called alto and I played exclusively the alto flute and he played exclusively the alto guitar and um, it, so anyway we, we recorded um, several albums together and, and so that's one of the reasons I think that I'm, I'm known for my alto flute right. playing. I mean I probably do play more alto flute than, than just about anybody. Mm -hmm. Well um, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, what's coming up for you. Are you, uh, we had 2005, we had Soul Quest, which I think was recorded in 2003 or 2004. Yeah. <laughs> so um, what kind of, what things are you working on now and you know are there some recording projects that we might be able to hear uh, you in the future? Well thank you for asking. Um, well first of all, um, while I'm here of course um, I'm going to get together with my, with my bud, Holly Hoffman, and um, as I'm sure you know we have the group Flutology together with Frank Wess. And uh, we have some bookings um, for 07, and um, w without the dates um, set in stone, of course, I won't um, mention m much more about it, but um, we definitely have some more work uh, that we'll be doing together with Flutology. Um, and looking forward to it. Will that be recording too? Uh, I don't, that I don't know, but very likely we'll be playing um, the Dizzy's Club, the new club in, in New York at Lincoln Center, so, and a couple other things. Anyway, um, I actually do have a couple uh, recording projects in the works that won't see the light of day um, until 07, or they may be released in 08. But um, because of the Jazz Flute Method book, I'm kind of concentrating on that this year, um, because that's due for publication next summer um, at the Flute Convention, if you can believe there's mm -hmm. one of those. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, um, I'm, I'm actually recording for a, a new label. Um, I'm like the guest artist. It's, it's a label that's at Hilton Head uh, Island, South Carolina. And I'm doing the recording actually next month. But I don't know if it's... Um, I, I'll probably be like the guest artist as opposed to... I'm sure they're going to actually want it to be the Allie Ryerson Quartet. But um, I, uh, I prefer to think that it'll be um, a trio special guest Allie Ryerson. Um, anyway, uh, so that's one project. And then next year, I, I have a producer who wants to um, record a, a straight-ahead quartet album with um, a, uh, a kicking um, rhythm section from, from New York of my choice. And um, yes, <laughs> absolutely. Um, and so anyway, that's... Uh, that's that's another project in the works. Another thing that's a little bit further down the road is my jazz flute big band, which was born out of my jazz flute master class, which I've been doing for f five years up in Carmel Valley. 
um, and that's um, uh, like like a big band, but with with flutes, C flute, alto flute, bass flute, and plus rhythm section. Wow. And Mike Mike Wofford has written s several great charts for that band. Wow. Anyway, at some point, I will actually record that with a, a pro band, and that'll be down the road. Because now I have like, I mean, I have Bill Cunliffe charts, Michael Benny charts. Um, Mike Wofford charts. It's it's really Steve Rudolph charts. So it's it's um, it's coming along. It's like this. It's in the incubation stage. Well, and actually, any of my projects, if you go to my website, AllieRyerson.com, I have an itinerary page, and um, I'll, I'll you know any, anything like a new album is obvious on the on the homepage. So. Um, so all my projects and everything like that is is uh, you can find on my website allyryerson.com. You just have to know how to spell my name. Yes. Well, <laughs> we'll make sure that people know okay, how to spell your name. Okay. Thank you. And, uh, that sounds fantastic. Yeah. Uh, flute big band. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Well, um, Allie, thank you so much for being with us today at uh, at Jazz Live, and best of luck uh, in everything going forward. Thank you so much, Vince. It's been a pleasure.